How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel and in today's video we're going to teach you on how you can stop an application from opening or launching at the startup. Well, many people are being quite uptight about opening application as soon as they turn on their M1 MacBook Pro. Well, disabling this application from the startup can help you to make your Mac faster than before. Therefore, let's go ahead and just take a look how you can stop them. Alright guys, now first of all, you can just remove your application from your dock, okay? Now, if you just go ahead and just see that application is available on your dock, then all you want to do is just go ahead and use your tool finger. Now hit on your trackpad and click an option and make sure to unmark this option called Open at Login. Well, this is one way to stop this application from opening at the startup. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at another way to stop this application from your MacBook Pro. Now you can click on your Apple logo and you can click on the system preference and then you can click on your users and group. And then you can click on the login items. Now here you're going to see all those applications now is available. This application gets opened soon after you open up your MacBook Pro. You simply can click on this lock and then enter your password here. Click on lock. And after that just uh, choose your application and hit minus. Now do this for all applications if you want to close them. After removing all this application from this list, now simply close this window and give your MacBook Pro a restart to see if that's working or not. Just go ahead and click on your Apple logo and just click restart. Hit restart from here and after that just go ahead and check whether your problem is solved or not. Alright guys, so as you guys can see now there's no application is getting opened by automatically. That means the problem is solved and from now on your no application is going to be opened up at the startup and this is how you can solve your problem on your M1 MacBook Pro. Alright guys, so if you find this video useful by any means be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel to get more useful video content for yourself. Thanks for watching and we'll talk to you later.